Hungry? Mm -hmm. You want a little wine with that? I had no choice. I was forced to come here. I made a call to your father from Venezuela. He wouldn't answer. He must have thought it was my father. I'm sorry, but he really pulled a fast one on my dad. By selling the house in Naples? He sold 50% of something that didn't belong to him. I know. Well, you know that he forged his signature on the authorization. I know that, too. He could have had him put in jail. <laughs> I know. He could have, but he avoided a family scandal. I know. Your father's a smarter asshole than my father. <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping things might work out for us in Venezuela. Sorry to interrupt. Where were you? Then his gambling reared its ugly head again. And soon the money was all gone. One day he and my mother got in the car and left Caracas. And didn't come back again. What do you mean, didn't come back? What I said. I've had no further contact. They told you where they were going, right? No. No, wait. Wait, okay. hold on. Your parents took off, but they didn't tell you where they were going. No, they didn't. All they said was they'd be back in three days. Like a fool, I waited almost ten. And men that he owed a lot of cash to kept dropping in. It was really very upsetting. So, then you went to the police? Yes. What'd they say? Thought they'd be investigating it. Only every time I asked, I got a different answer. A whole month wasting time down there, and I never heard a thing. I pawned a ring of grannies I had, bought myself a ticket, and flew back to Italy. You know the rest. Well, there must be an explanation. Be sure to hear from them. Communications are tough down there, are you? Phone. Would you put me up for a while, Luigi? Yeah. Stay as long as you want. Tell my dad, and after we explain everything that happened, I'm sure he'll be glad to help you. I mean, you're the daughter of his brother, right? Luigi, you're smart. 